you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by elithid worms. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Glick. I had a dream, as we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the Parasite could empower me. The Parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is Geich deception. A wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Now, well, you've earned my respect and more still. You've proven your wits. You are efficient and dominant, in and out of battle. You've proven your courage. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon to plunge into another. And you're hardly bland. Your scent alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hairs stand on end. If you must know, Vlerkith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Enough talk. I will be plain. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Do you? Your loss, I fear. One day soon, 
You will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. Worth talking to, Bert. Dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. His eyes track the ball avidly. He shuffles on his paws, ready to chase after it. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. 